today's session about batch epics in Salesforce. But before we go ahead, let's have a look into today's agenda. Firstly, we will learn what is batch epic. Then, we will learn why to use batch epics. After that, we will briefly discuss how to implement batch epic. And then, we will discuss implementing database.batchable interface. After that, we will discuss how batch epics works. Then we will look at the reasons why to use batch epics over queuable or future. Then we will see how we can chain batch job. And then finally, we will look at the limitations of using batch epics. But before we go ahead, if you like our video, please do not forget to subscribe the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon to never miss an update from us. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. So let's begin. What is batch epic? It is an asynchronous method, something that runs in the background without requiring your physical presence. In technical terminology, it does not require user interaction. For example, you can see here jobs like getting ready, completing your work, or watching a movie require your presence and hence take your time. While in the meanwhile, you may get your clothes dry cleaned. It does not require you to do anything. While it happens, meanwhile you may engage in another activity. This is called an asynchronous process. For example, Salesforce has a limit of updating only up to 10,000 records at a time. But if you want to update more records, the only solution available is Batch Epic. Now let us see why to use Batch Epic. Unlike Future method and Queable, Batch Epic can process up to 50 million records in the background. For example, you want to update 1 lakh records at once, but the governor limit is only up to 10,000 records. Use batch epic. Let us see how. In one batch, we will record up to 2,000 records. Let us consider a general example. If we have 10 records and the batch size is 2, you will require 10 by 2, that is 5 batches. If you have 100 and batch size 5, you require 100 by 5, that is 20 batches. Let us extend the same concept to Salesforce records. If you have a batch size of 2000, for 10,000 records, you will require 10,000 by 2000, that is 5 batches. Similarly, for 1 lakh records, you will require 50 batches. To create batch apex, you may implement the interface which can be database.batchable interface or queable interface. Let us consider using database.batchable interface. Since it is an interface, it is also need to include the method. To create a batch apex, you need three methods. First, start method. This method will query all the records to be processed. Next is the execute method. This method will be passed the individual batches. It will run each batch the required number of times. So let's say you have to process 1 lakh records and you have batch size of 2000. Then the execute method will run 1 lakh divided by 2000, that is 50 times. Each time it will execute 200 records. Next is the finish. The finish method will perform the tasks that need to be performed at the end of executing all the records. While the queuable interface requires only the execute method. Now how does batch apex work? It does all the processing in batches. First, the start method will query all the records and then execute will run this. When one batch completes, it again goes to the start method and gets the next batch which it processes again. Like this, it processes all the batches. And finally, the finish method runs and performs any specific task like sending an email, etc. Now let us see how we can create a batch apex job. First, log into your Salesforce account. Then, click on your name and launch the developer console. As you can see, the developer console is launched. Now, we can see here, we have created the class batch apex example, which implements the interface database.batchable. In this, there is a query locator, which with the help of a simple SQL query, generates the scope of objects in the batch job. The query here will fetch all the records from account and it will, these records are divided into subtasks and they are passed to the execute method. Next is the execute method. This method takes a reference to the database.batchable context object and a list of S objects such as list objects or a list of parameter types. 
Now the execute method performs an operation which we want to perform on the records fetched from the start method. Over here, we have appended edureka to the name of all the accounts. It performs actual processing for each chunk or batch of data passed to the method. Last is the finish method which executes after all batches are processed. It is generally used to send confirmation email notification. Now that we have created our batch index code, we should save the file and after that click on the debug and open execute anonymous window. To invoke a batch class, simply instantiate it and then call the database.execute batch with the given instance. Over here, we can optionally specify batch size, like over here I have shown as 100. Then click on execute. And now we can see in the logs that the execution is taking place with 100 batch records at a time. In each cycle, 100 records are processed at once. Now that all the records have been updated, we can go back and check the accounts table. And as you can see, Edureka has been appended to all the batch records. Therefore, our batch apex has performed the function of appending Edureka on the records names successfully. The minimum batch size is 1, maximum is 2000 and default is 200. Now let us see why to use batch apex over queuable or future. The reasons are because only through batch apex you can process 50 million records in the background or asynchronously. And the secondly, it is the best option available for long running processing. You can even chain two or more batch jobs similar to that in queuable interface. For this, you need to define the second batch inside the finish method of the first job. As you can see over here, the second batch is defined inside the finish method of the first job. If you want to chain another batch, define it inside the previous batch's finish method again and so on. Now finally, let us look at the limitations of batch apex. They are that only up to 5 batch jobs can run at a time and secondly, future methods cannot be called from batch apex. This brings us to the end of today's session. I hope now you have better understanding of the batch apex in Salesforce and how it works. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!